What up players, it's Warboss Tay back up in this mud doing an unboxing and showcase of the Forge World Contemptor Pattern multi melta Arm. This is a resin piece by Forge World. Like all of our Contemptor weapons options, it comes on oh, two sprues. I thought it was just one. So in the uh, smaller one, you get the standard shoulder mount and the pivot piece and uh, those glue in together to fit and angle the weapon into your shoulder and you also get this These two tanks here on the end. I'm gonna be cutting those out and attaching those to the multi melted gun and um, When we take a look at the gun itself it is You know pretty standard of the multi meltas or the mul melta weapon options. It's got that uh, big those twin barrels at the front it's got the kind of ribbed little casing area there and then it's got those two holes right at the back to put the tubes of your melta canisters when everything is cut out those canisters are actually going to fit onto the weapon arm itself fits really nicely and yeah it's a, it's a great piece this one is i remember cleaning it and putting it together. It's one of the cleaner weapons, not too many mold lines to worry about. So I clean it with some soap and warm water, some dishwashing soap, get rid of all that kind of greasy mold release agent. And then I painted it up to match my Carcaridon's colors for this Contemptor Dreadnought here. So a base, some shades, and a highlight. What I tried to do was balance out the dark colors, give a little bit of contrast with the Balthazar gold. So the barrels are Balthazar gold as well as the, um, I guess, banding and those little gold bars that stick out on the Melta arm. I wanted to not do too much gold. You don't want too much flash and, or I guess like flashy, colorful parts. Uh, I did notice right there, there are some troublesome mold lines right into the piece that I was having a little bit of difficulty cleaning off. I didn't want to shave too deep and carve chunks out of the weapon, so um, I'm going to try and mask and camouflage that as much as possible. It's not too noticeable. And like with all of my options, I'm magnetizing this piece so it can go on either the left and the right arm. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of showcase of all the weapons options that I painted up for this Contemptor Dreadnought for my commission for the Carcaridons. And uh, I hope you continue watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.